Hi, welcome to this new unboxing. Uh, today will be a camera. This is the uh, Firefly 6S. So this is the uh, successor of the XM 5S. So Firefly is another GoPro clone brand, uh, but this one offers at least two nice features. First of all, it's uh, announcing to be a 4K camera. Okay, so uh, twice in wide, in large, uh, the resolution of 1080p. Uh, I, at this uh, resolution, the frame rate is only 24 frames per second, which, which is already not bad. And the second feature is announced uh, to include uh, a gyroscope to stabilize the um, uh, image uh, when you are uh, filming. So, out uh, behind the box, you can find all the resolution, so 4K at 24 frames per second. The 2.5K, so which is a resolution 2560 by um, twice 720p at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 60, 1080p at 30, and uh, finally 720p at 120 uh, frames per second. And you have a kind of VGA mode, only 30 frames per second. I don't know why it's not 240, but maybe it can evolve. Um, you can have a firmware evolution for this. Um, Another nice feature, the battery is announced to be 1600, which is uh, larger compared to some uh, competitor model, usually it's a 1000, 100, 1100. So it's offering uh, more than one hour and a half uh, action, so, so that's not bad. And you can welcome up to a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, you, so what you will find in this box, okay, this is the uh, main uh, packaging. So basically, you will find uh, this uh, uh, instruction manual. This is the uh, waterproof. The camera comes into this uh, waterproof casing. Okay. So basically, it's announced to be uh, up to well, down to 30 meters. Uh, you have a small uh, film protecting the uh, the uh, lens. Well, uh, you have to uh, open by lifting this front part and then unlocking the system like this and you can access now to the camera module so this is a waterproof casing uh, with this uh, probably uh, mountain bike maybe it's a, a bike uh, mount system and in this uh, when you open it you will access a lot of accessories so some velcro band some uh, attach maybe it's uh, for head uh, Helmets, I'm not sure. Some uh, belt system, uh, another one, a clips, okay, and another uh, attach system. This is the uh, casing to install, for example, on the tripod and the different mounting. So you have a lot of accessories uh, like this, okay, another belt system, a, a cleaner, okay, this is to mount on your bike, I guess. Um, the camera welcome a mini USB plug, usually it's micro, but for this one it's a mini one and a couple of zip ties to attach. And finally also uh, you will be able to find um, uh, a lens cap, that's a, a nice initiative. So a lot of accessories uh, to mount on any uh, sport action bike, helmet and so on. So I will now focus more on the camera itself. Uh, come in black edition, okay, and uh, to power it you have to press briefly the uh, uh, power button located front and you have this now OLED uh, screen which is pretty good. So actually what you will find in this uh, screen a lot of information, for example, you will find here the actual resolution, so actually an 1080p 60 frames per second, you will find the date, the hours, the wide dynamic range is on. You will find the battery status, and this one I'm not sure of it. On the uh, right side, you will find the two uh, left and right button to navigate between menu. It's pretty easy. I will show you. You will find here the compartment of the batteries. Okay, and on the open hand side, you will find the mini USB plug as well as the mini HDMI. Finally, uh, on the bottom part, you will find the uh, uh, micro SD card. So be aware to enjoy your 4K. You will need a class 10 uh, micro SD, okay? But the good news, if you insert, for example, a, a lower class, 
you you have a warning message say beware you can enjoy the uh, 4k at full speed that's pretty nice so uh, the navigation in the menu is pretty easy you just need to push for example the left button and you will uh, cycle between the, all the different action like this so a lot of different menu and uh, thanks to the all this uh, screen is very explicit so for example I actually I flashed to the last firmware actually uh, today it's the version 2.2 okay and the first one is to select the screen so to enter in this menu you have to press the uh, turn on button to trigger button and you can select the menu for example I'm in 1080p 60 frames per second but I can enjoy it, for example the 4k at 44 frames per second 2.4k and I will stay in 60 uh, frames per second here actually okay and you validate by pressing OK, the, the top button okay and you can for example choose the time lapse uh, cycle option the auto recording uh, the wide dynamic range is turned on actually the size okay the uh, if you want to take a burst of photos and you can for example select the uh, uh, it takes I, I'm not sure nine photos or in burst sequence okay actually is off uh, the time interval okay to uh, record the sensitivity of the uh, lens sensors the sharpness you have different option between high to low okay I actually set to high the color restitution uh, if you want to timestamp your photos and video the TV mode so that's pretty good because I forgot to mention that it come also with uh, mine come with um, the FPV cable so with uh, micro USB to a uh, nave out I will show you in an extent in a few instants and you can choose between the PAL or NTC format okay uh, sorry I will return this so basically um, you have the um, uh, Earths, if you were more to avoid some flickering, the uh, remove fish eyes option, okay, turn on and off. The more important, I would say, that is the zero if you want to turn on and off. So, actually, I will probably start to uh, off to uh, turn off these features, okay. And you can activate the Wi Fi, I will show Wi Fi, sorry, I will show you um, the apps, Android apps you can use to. Uh, enjoy your uh, camera and finally uh, if you want to power through the USB so a lot of fi features uh, you can choose also if you want to have a lens or a, mo a moderate angle in the lens okay actually I'm choosing large you can format your micro SD card and reset to the default factories as well and now the version of the same firmware so a lot of options available and it's pretty nice I really like how easy it's uh, to understand in which menu you don't really uh, need and the lack of uh, a back uh, display it's very uh, easy with this OLED screen I like it uh, I will give you an information of the size and the weight so for example on this uh, module uh, standalone so to shut down you have to wrong press on the uh, front um, button okay so out of the box with the uh, battery inside this uh, uh, camera is uh, weights uh, 75 grams okay and in order to give you some comparison here is the um, uh, Hamkov uh, last model this is the uh, 5000 S okay and this one is a little bit more heavier close to 80 grams okay uh, and I don't know can remember well the um, size of the battery but I think it's lower you have a uh, 1000 less than 150 so even a, a lower capacity batteries and uh, probably uh, the lens is taking a lot of weight and this is the black arrow 2 uh, from uh, black view and this one is probably lighter so yes this one is uh, only 68 grams and this one comes with a back lcd uh, but uh, well i reviewed this camera uh, some time ago this one uh, like a lot of features uh, supposed to be announced and is not they are not yet present in the even in the last firmware and while well, the sound quality is 
pretty poor on the wall. No really FPV option, for example, or pale or anti-CV out. So, okay. So, uh, in order to give you in comparison, here are the three uh, side by side. Okay. So between the Amkov and the uh, Firefly. So, as you can see, okay, the black view is much more uh, larger, okay, but in eight, more or less, all are the same, okay. Uh, yes, so the Firefly Cesus is the one of the smallest. Maybe the Amkov is the smallest, but this is a heavier too. So it's a, in the middle. Uh, the lens, it's announced to be a 170s, if I'm not wrong. It's uh, written somewhere. Um, yes, I guess it's something like this. And the uh, uh, lens resolution is up to 16 megapixels. So I don't know, and I will make some tests in the photo session and photo part if it's playing with the interpolation. So I will compare the quality of both videos and, and uh, photos with this three model. Okay, in, uh, I will compare in uh, 1080p. Okay, so I will push, uh, this one is only able to do uh, 40 frames per second, this one up to 60 and this one up to only 30 if I'm not wrong. So I will push on the maximum of this capacity. And I will also compare with the zero own. Okay, so uh, I will show you the um, um, uh, extra cable I was provided in the box. This is the Ave out cable, so it's pretty easy. Uh, you have to plug on the uh, mini USB port. Okay, and okay, sometimes it's a little bit hard to install. And this one comes uh, if you want. Uh, you have the ground. If you want to power your, your camera with an external source, be sure to uh, use only 5 volts, so on the red wires, and this is a signal out. Uh, I will make a small demonstration how is the latency. So uh, basically, uh, out of the box, it's a very nice uh, features to include this have out. Uh, you can choose, as I show, between the NTSC and the uh, and, uh, uh, pale formats, so I think I'll uh, give you all the dimension. Maybe I will give you the, the exact measurement in, in both uh, lengths. Okay, if you want to install to know it to install on your gimbal, sometimes is very important to know that. So you have 59 cent, uh, centimeter millimeters in large, in eight, you have 41, and well, in um, with you have something like 20, 21, okay. So uh, I, I remind it's 74 um, uh, grams, and you have this end dimension just uh, given previously. So uh, you have a lens cap that's uh, pretty nice. Um, okay, so uh, what I will do now is to use this uh, uh, small video transmitter. Well, I'm, it's an old one, so. I'm not sure the, my soldering drum is working efficiently, but just to give you the ideas of the latency, okay, whatever the image quality. Um, and I will use this, uh, I will power with the 1S uh, uh, cell cellule, and it uh, takes 5823, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, and I will use this FPV cable to give you an indication of the latency, very important information if you plan to use also this camera in FPV. Okay, I wanted to have before to do the FPV test uh, the Wi-Fi part, so you have uh, a Wi-Fi application dedicated to the Firefly, so I will give you the links on the Android uh, place to find it. It's pretty easy, so first things you have to uh, turn on uh, the Wi-Fi of both your, for example, your Android phone, so go to the menu uh, and uh, okay, here you can Oh, sorry. So, well, our, I will enter into the Wi-Fi. Okay, press OK here. Turn on OK here. Okay, now the Wi-Fi is on. Uh, so you have the default password one two three four five six eight seven eight three. Okay, and now you can search your uh, Wi-Fi mobile. Uh, applications. So first of all, 
you have to turn on the Wi-Fi so uh, it will be here it's done and you can find run the application this one okay yeah you have to uh, connect first so I will connect to the uh, go here and you have to, to select this one it should be uh, okay connect and it will be okay now so uh, now if I return to the application okay now you can find the uh, information okay and you have a very nice uh, uh, image but as you can see look that uh, the latency of the Wi-Fi is uh, well, uh, too long to fly in FPV and uh, well you can see that uh, the uh, I will estimate close to one second of latency uh, but through these interfaces you can uh, select the different parameters for example if you want to record the video resolutions you have all the indication okay also the photo size and if you want to uh, or not uh, and uh, play with the parameters and you can record with this button and when it's recording you have the uh, blue LEDs uh, print so it's recording uh, well in fact it's recording on the camera so you can just trigger the uh, recording it's not recording on the uh, uh, Android phone it's recording on the uh, on the camera itself so okay it's just a camera triggering you can turn off here okay and uh, well I don't know is this button is to take a pictures or photos and okay and you have the different element you can download from the uh, uh, you can see the uh, the um, the uh, uh, file on the uh, on the uh, camera and you can download it I guess okay if you want you can take a pictures like this and it's a pretty a pretty good okay so it's working well it to monitor your uh, Android uh, your uh, camera settings it's pretty good okay so now I will make the demonstration for the FPV part so I will use my cable and my video transmitter Okay, here is my small uh, FPV uh, setup. So I plug the uh, provided at the house cable. I uh, tune this small cable so the ground to the uh, ground of the uh, video transmitter input there. Okay, and the uh, the out here will go to the vein of the video transmitter. Uh, the soldering job is not perfect, so you will see a lot of interferences on the display, but it's not important. The more important is to measure the latency and I will directly plug the uh, one cell cellule so um, I will power the uh, camera okay and plug the uh, video so and now as you can see maybe okay the, there is a lot of interferences but the more important is not here uh, the more important is to uh, measure the uh, the latency so be aware so I will plug the from the camera okay now I hope you can see both yes and I will measure the latency so uh, you will see on play on the pause on YouTube that the latency I guess it's something like 0 0.2 0 0.3 second okay so not amazing uh, you cannot really use for FPV racer uh, you have uh, something like uh, uh, the the three sub, but for normal AP platform in altitude, it's okay. Uh, it will be enough to uh, to play uh, FPV uh, with this model, but for a racer, I assume not. Okay, so uh, well, don't be afraid about the image quality of the line. This is my uh, video uh, wiring uh, transmission uh, job is not perfect, but it's working well and uh, in pale format as well. And the color are there. There are a lot of interferences, maybe because, uh, okay. So it's working well out of the box thanks to the AVI out. And uh, well, so you have an indication of the uh, latency. Now I will make some deeper tests of the video quality 
and uh, the sound and the photo station.